Hello, my name is Aldo Gunsing and this is my presentation about block cipher based tree hashing. So a hash function is a function that maps, maps an input of arbitrary length to a fixed length output. And there are multiple security notions for hash functions. So a common one is the notion of collision resistance, which means that it should be difficult to find two different inputs that map to the same output. But there are also stronger notion requires, required. So one is that it should basically behave like a random oracle so that all outputs are uniformly random and also independent from each other. And this notion is formalized as indifferentiability by Maurer and others, and also specified for hashing by Goron and others. Uh, and hash, uh, hashing modes are always built on top of a smaller uh, compression function f, which is often assumed to be ideal. However, such ideal compression functions uh, cannot be built directly, so they have to be built on top of a small of another building block. And the common one is a block cipher. Uh, and there's a popular Davis Meyer construction which transforms a block cipher to a compression function using a feed forward. However, this construction is not indifferentiable from an ideal compression function. So we need a dedicated, dedicated analysis using the block cipher as an assumption. And this is what Damon and others uh, did for hashing, where they uh, tried to find sufficient conditions for such constructions and also some other. Uh, however, it turns out that the paper contains an error and also proves some faulty constructions secure, so as pointed out by Samuel Neves. Uh, and in an errata, I uh, provide a quick fix by having an additional condition, which requires also sufficient truncation. However, a more thorough look uh, reveals that the error is actually some more fundamental about the indifferentiability setting. Uh, it's actually a more fundamental flaw that uh, ignores a major part between the interaction between the construction and primitive oracles uh, in the indifferentiability setting. And the same reasoning is actually present in also many other uh, indifferentiability papers. So two others are also based on hashing and also four are about the sum of permutations. And this is actually also all the papers uh, that are about the indifferentiability of the sum of permutations. Uh, but the flawed reasoning does hold in the sequential indifferentiability setting, uh, where the primitive queries have to be made before the construction queries. So the results uh, can be downgraded to this weaker setting, so that we still have some positive uh, results. And in the case of hashing, uh, we, we had the errata that uh, requires a sufficient truncation, but this is not that great of a fix as not all modes can apply this. So in this work, we consider three, uh, three other finalization options. So the first one is truncation again, but then also with some interesting variations. Uh, the second one is an enveloped finalization, which is a generalization from enveloped merkle Damkaart. And the third one is a feed forward. And the major application is Blake 3, which is a recent block cipher based tree hashing mode. Uh, and that's an interesting, uh, has some interesting properties. One is that the extendable output uses a counter. So for the first outlook output block, uh, the counter is equal to zero. For the second one, uh, it sets the counter to one and so on. And it turns out it has an interesting property, namely that if you know a message and the hash output, but not the offset T, that you can actually compute that offset directly, or ideally, uh, that would only be possible by brute force. And as a consequence, you cannot really rely on the secrecy of this offset T, which is not ideal behavior, but in practice, it's not that big of a problem. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.